Hi, my name is Dave and today I will be demonstrating how to install a PayRange relay harness and blue key pulse on a 55 pound Dexter dryer with an optical sensor coin switch. The control panel has to be accessed in order to find the power supply and coin switch wires. The PayRange high voltage power adapter can be connected to any power source between 100 and 240 volts AC. Once a power supply is found, power off the machine. The power for this machine comes from the conduct in the back. There will be a few wires, blue, black, white and green coming through from the back of the machine. The black and white wires will be the 120 volt source of power to be used to splice for the PayRange high voltage power adapter. Very important. Please make sure the machine is completely powered off before attempting to do any installation. Use the provided splice connectors to connect the 120 volt AC power supply wires to the high voltage pay range power adapter wires. The high voltage pay range power adapter comes with two wires that are not polarity sensitive. So splice either wire to the white wire and the other to the black wire of the 120 volt power supply wires. Please ensure the wires are spliced correctly to ensure proper connectivity. Next, identify the coin acceptor and reference the PayRange install guide to determine how to connect the PayRange relay harness to various coin acceptors. This coin switch uses a red, green and blue wire, but we will only be using the green and blue wire to connect to the PayRange relay harness. The PayRange relay harness comes with three wires, a blue, yellow and white. But for this type of coin acceptor, only the blue and yellow wire will be used from the PayRange relay harness. So go ahead and coil the white wire so it's out of the way. Since the PayRange relay harness is also not polarity sensitive, splice the yellow wire from the PayRange relay harness to either the blue wire or green wire from the coin switch. Then splice the blue wire from the PayRange relay harness to the other wire on the coin acceptor. Once completed, plug the PayRange blue key into the PayRange relay module, as well as plug the power supply from the PayRange power adapter to the DC jack on the PayRange relay module. Go ahead and power the machine on. A blue LED light on the blue key PayRange device will confirm the PayRange device is receiving power. The final step would be to register the PayRange blue key pulse device using the PayRange app.